My name is Neil Malik from Knack Trading, and for today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Get Pivot Data function. Now, Get Pivot Data can be really vital because what it allows us to do is use the middle ground of a pivot table as our data source. So you can see here that I've built out a, a pivot table that looks fairly um, stripped down, doesn't have good formatting or anything like that but you can see that it comes specifically from the set of data over here and trying to pull information from this set of data can be a little bit tedious so by using a pivot table i can start off and say things like oh go ahead and add up all of the sales in the central region for ambrose or um, find me the total sales for eastern region for ambrose things like that and by getting that information as a middle ground, I can then turn around and put that into charts and diagrams and things like that. Now, what you can see over here is that I've built out a simplification. A lot of people would create a pivot table like this one, then simply click onto the pivot table, use the insert tab, and you know maybe make themselves a, let's say a column chart, right? But you can tell that by making this column chart, we have far too much to compare, and there's very little value in this chart by itself. So instead, what I'm doing here is I'm using the get pivot data function, as you can see here, to get the total sale price for the entirety of the pivot table as well as the total number of sales for the entirety of the pivot table. So there's 923 sales for $2.8 billion. So what I'll do now is I will use this information of the region being set to Eastern and the agent being set to Halal to be able to figure out what the sales are for the Eastern Halal sales and the number of sales for the same thing. And you can see here, I've got my little chart up here that will automatically run that calculation and uh, present the information as a percent of the total. So let's try this out. I use the uh, insert tab, excuse me, the formulas tab at the top of the screen. And on the lookup and reference drop down menu, I have get pivot data, which simply allows me to retrieve information that's already in a pivot table. Now, the first thing it asks me is, what is it that I would like to return? Uh, what is the data field? And so here, I need to know that I am adding up a field called quotation marks sale price. And that's a piece of information that you would know by knowing the columns of your original source data. So this is the name of the column that I want to add up. I want to add up the sale price column. Now it asks me, okay, well, sale price column, that's great, but where is the pivot table where I can find it? And you scroll over here to the right, and uh, you just go ahead and choose the top left-hand corner of the pivot table because the pivot table may get taller or shorter, it may get fatter or skinnier, but it's always going to start from that same top left-hand corner, so cell S3 there. And you can see instantly that it's adding up $2.8 billion. However, we now want to isolate the more specific values. You can see here it gives me field one and item one, and as soon as I fill this in, it'll give me field two and item two, and then when I fill that in, it'll give me field three and item three. So what is the field that I'm looking into, and what is the item that I'm comparing it against? The field name is region, quotation marks around the word region, and then the item you can see here, I've gone ahead and put Eastern into this field. And that by itself tells me, yes, uh, $433 million worth of sales for the Eastern region. I can go a step further. I can go to field two now and say, go ahead and grab me the, uh, and this is lead agent. Again, you just need to know your data, know what these columns are called. And the lead agent should be set to Halal. Click OK. It now tells me that Halal in the Eastern region has $25 million worth of sales, which compared to $2.8 billion is 1% of total sales. If I say take the same values but go over to the Central region, you can see Halal has sold $51 million worth of products in the Central region, coming to 2%. And if I use the second drop down menu and I say look at Swain, Swain has sold 1% of the total sales in the central region, 
the eastern region, a little bit more in the Pacific region, etc. So now by switching these two cells around, my get pivot data function that adds up the total sale price and calculates whether or not the region is set to mountain and the lead agent is set to, set to Colifano gives me this little result here in my charting. Let's repeat that really quickly here. For number of sales, I want to again go to lookup and reference, drop down menu, go to get pivot data, the data field that I'm looking for here, I want to go ahead and calculate the total number of property sub types. So look for the field called property subtype. Again, just know what your columns are called. The pivot data is once again over here in cell S3. And the fields, as we saw earlier, are set to region for mountain and oops didn't switch over to item there there you go type in region then switch over to item and select cell b12 and then here for quotation marks lead agent item 2 should be set to cell b13 and it tells me that Califano in the mountain region has 15 total sales out of 923 sales. Click OK. And that represents 2% of the total. In the mountain region, if I go to Swain, Swain has 13 sales, which represents 1%. And that's that. So you can see here to build yourself a little... Um, for lack of a better term, dashboard, you can use get pivot data to use your pivot tables as a data source and then build out really interesting visualizations.